so I got this uh, really awesome piece of tool, um, what have you, that came in today. I saw it online a couple weeks ago, and I, I ordered it on Amazon. I mean, you can look at the picture by the description of the video. You're probably gonna, you're obviously gonna tell what it, be able to tell what it is, but this is it. This is a box. I'm a well, that's half of the box. That's uh, made in Europe or made in Europe or Euro European Union, patented, and it doesn't have the name of the company on there. Sneak peek, but I'll bring you back here on a tripod and set it up. Pop it in here. And uh, I'm gonna dig into this thing. I've only seen it on videos. I have not touched it in person, operated it, and it's kind of unfortunate that I won't be able to, you know, operate it right now to show you, but you can watch videos of other people doing that. This is merely just to, really just to show it off, really. Um, so we'll just, we'll just rip into this cardboard here, get this thing opened up. came partially, cardboard partially destroyed, so it is what it is. Here we go. Ooh, first feel, feels amazing. Let's throw this box, recycle it. Actually, on the cardboard, it actually had the name of the company and all that stuff, so. I'll just pop this right here. That's the, the item that we're looking at. The laser tools, hands-free suspension arm lever, uh, part number 6936, it's a one piece item. Uh, there's there's several, well, there's only one other kind of uh, suspension arm lever support that I have came across. Um, and that one is slightly different from this one but effectively it does the same thing, right? So this is, we'll just take a minute to admire the beauty of this um, device. Got a hook right here, um, heavy duty chain with a, uh, with a, I don't know what you call these, little thing, but you can undo it, a little shackle. You can actually undo it if you wanted to in like, the chain got damaged, you could actually change it out. Um, this hook doesn't look too bad. You can kind of almost fabricate your own if need be. But like I said, this is the, the laser tool uh, I keep forgetting what the name on the box because it's not on the it's not on the thing. Just There we go. So I will mess up this reference. Yeah, the laser tool, hands-free suspension arm lever. Pretty solid piece here, but the intent behind this piece of tool is to, if you're working on the suspension, you know, um, and uh, you know, you're removing bushings or something and you just need to have the suspension lowered to remove that lower lower bush in there you're able to attach this to the opposite uh, suspension side using this hook which it too is adjustable you just gotta use this hex nut right here um, well at least that's what i saw in the video and it's, like i said it's my first time using it um, and then you're able to wrap wrap this end around the, the suspension that you're working on and then you twist this you twist this um, this bar right here and uh, you can put a screwdriver in here or something um, to twist it 
I wish it had like a bar where you could just slide it back and forth and twist, slide it back and forth and twist. I mean, it would interfere right here, but you could drop a bar in there and slide it back and forth and twist. But you could like, you know, this would be, so this would be how it would face on the car. This would be, this would be supported by the side that you're not working on, this hook right here, hooked on. And like I said, this is adjustable using this uh, hex bit right here. Not sure what size that is, but I can probably grab a, uh, a hex key. And um, this is actually under some kind of spring tension. Like it's, I can feel it springing back and forth. So it's under some kind of spring tension, but it has a positive locking engagement beyond the spring tension. So I'm try to, to show you. It's, you can see it. It it wants to it wants to retract in there. And then this is the hex nut that you can use to further extend it. So this is how it would be positioned under the car. Um, this would just, this uh, rubber portion right here would sit under the underbody of the car, wherever it meets. And then you would just turn this guy. To, to pretty much lower the suspension and uh, keep it suspended and of course you could stick a screwdriver in there or some kind of handle as a hole right here about, a, about the size of the screwdriver you just stick it in there and uh it just keeps pivoting down this arm right here and uh using this chain wrapped around the suspension it's just going to keep that suspension part lowered while you while you work on it the ones that I've seen previously, you gotta actually like hook it in place and use your body weight to like pry down on it. And as soon as you get your bushing removed or something, it's just gonna go back in place. It's just gonna raise back up on the tension and uh, raise back up on the tension. And then you're gonna have to like either do it again or have someone hold it in place. This is a one man operation. It just holds that that lower suspension in place so i could bring bring this picture in closer so this is where i was saying that opposite end hooks onto the bar over there you got the main frame right here you got the little rubber piece right here that's this and then you got your torsion bar right here that's a max of 20 newton meters i don't see how you would ever exceed that and then obviously you wrap the chain the provided chain right here you got this uh provided chain around this lower portion and it's just going to be able to separate your suspension and hold it in place so the beauty of this design is this this uh this rotating piece right here have a hook right here and that's so when you wrap it around when you when you wrap this around the, the suspension the lower suspension you can just get your get it to hook in place and it's just gonna stay hooked make sure I can catch the video yeah the hook is right here on the opposite side of the, the chain where the chain is uh, secured in place it just hooks in place so that's gonna wrap around your suspension. Um, and obviously, it depends on how, you know, you probably wanna get it as tight as possible, just wrap it around it. To reduce the amount of play, it will give you more uh, ability to lower it. So yeah, this is my first look at this uh, laser tool, hands-free, suspension arm lever part number 6936 and i can tell you this thing is gonna work amazing um let me get a hex key i want to i want to try to remove or extend that uh that portion right there let me try to find something
not sure which one, what, what size it is. This is a five and a half. Nope. And this is a four. So a five and a half is slightly too big, and a four is too small. So I need, I, mean, I need to find my my five. five maybe it's a five on the hex let's see yep let's see uh let's say five on the hex to get you a, get you to undo this and we're gonna see how this thing works left to lucy yep and it's coming out slightly i don't know how this thing really works so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my eyes down there a little bit let's see Oh, I see how it works. It's literally just, uh, so somehow this, this chain is under some kind of uh, spring, spring load in there. And all you're doing is just backing this thing out, out of the eyelet. So you're just backing this thing all the way out until it's not in the, in one of these uh, chain eyelets. You're just backing it out all the way, all the way, until it's fully, fully out of the way. Ooh, all right, so clearly I took it all the way out. So clearly you can come out, so you don't want to lose this piece, right? And then, there we go. Huh. <laughs> and the moment of truth. It comes out and it's attached to a little piece of lanyard in there. So I was talking about the weak portions of this. Clearly, clearly this is just going to be attached on the opposite side. But I think this is a nifty idea. I'm not sure. I have to shine a light down in there real quick to see. Yep. So it's literally a piece of bungee cord. So this this tension that I was feeling on the thing was allowing it to like it's literally a a I don't know a piece of chain attached to a slight bungee cord. And uh, it's held in place by this nut that you use a five millimeter hex to uh, undo it, to uh, let the chain as you need or shorten it. And once you put it in, it's just gonna fit through one of those rings as needed. So we'll, we'll throw it back in. It'd be nice if this did not fully come out. So you would, chances are you wouldn't lose it, but, but if you, when you're not using it, obviously have it threaded all the way in. And uh, so I'm gonna put that in shortly. The bungee cord, the bungee cord is literally attached to this. It runs to the entire. It runs to the entire length of the shaft. Let's see if I can get it. I'm getting it in video. Yep. It runs to the entire length of the shaft. So the chain comes out that much. And like I said, the bungee cord runs the entire length up here and then it's connected, it's connected here at the back. There's a little rubber and it's like fully seated. So I'm not sure how you would even get it out. Um, you could probably pry it out if you need, if the bungee cord broke or something. I would definitely find a way to remove this, uh, remove this little rubber piece right here, or a plastic piece to insert another piece of bungee cord. I kind of wish they, I think, I kind of wish the fact that they were going to go with this type of little, little bungee um, mechanism, see if I can get it in view. The fact that they were going to go with this type of bungee mechanism, I kind of wish they went with something beefier. Um, not necessarily a spring because a spring could touch, yeah, and even a spring, like a heavy, 
somewhat of a light duty spring, heavy duty spring in there that's not gonna lose its uh, elasticity or its uh, over time. Or I wish they had gone with something thicker like this, you know, um, as far as the thickness of the bungee. Like this would be, this would not break, you know, over time. So if I could find a way to to change it out, it shouldn't be too hard to change out. But as long as it's working, I'm fine with fine with it as is. But if I if for any reason it breaks, which it should not, because it's not, it's literally just meant to extend and retract this chain without it being in the way. That's the very only purpose. So it should not break. It's not when it's like fully assembled and like in use. It's not during any any uh, any type of suspension load. So to keep this all nice and secure, we're just gonna thread it all the way thread it with all the, um, the chain all the way in. And like I said, it's a five millimeter um, hex that this thing takes. And it just goes, it literally just bottoms out. It just, there's no, there's no opening on, on the opposite side. It's literally, it screws in. Make sure I'm getting this in the frame. It literally just screws in and there's, it just makes contact with the opposite side. And look, you can see, it's not going anywhere. I'm not using, I'm not using the bungee except for that slight amount of like um, play in there. So I think that's an awesome design, but I would say the bungee, the bungee could have been thicker, <laughs> uh, especially since it's not very readily accessible. The bungee could have been thicker, and obviously if the bungee snaps, do you really need a bungee in there? Not really. You just gotta. It's just not going to retract when you like, you know, pull it out or something. It's just not going to retract on its own. But I'd say the bungee is like the downside. And this would be perfect because look at it. That's the pretty much the length of it. Um, yeah. So we'll leave that there. What else I noticed on here? I'm sure it is still in view. Yeah, uh, pretty heavy duty chain obviously if you needed something longer you could replace it like i was saying this is just try to get some view. this is literally you can just replace this this little nut right here undo this nut and uh slip a new piece of chain on it if you need it needed to um There's a there's a little piece that I notice. So right now we have it in the fully fully engage. Your suspension is going to pop up on you, right? So right now we just like lowered it all the way. So we can do that again. Just run it all the way to where this just it meets the suspension. Like I said, I mean, this that we put our hands on, it has a, a pretty nice uh, solid feel to this uh, unit right here. Yep, and they're all five millimeter. I can actually tighten this thing up if I wanted to. Actually, this is not, it's not even tightening up. If you feel like there's some play in this thing, this is actually the same type of nut. It just, it's like a pass through hex nut. So you just gotta make sure it's there. So what I'll probably end up doing, removing these and putting some uh, some red thread lockers on here, just so it doesn't have a chance of wiggling out and I can get it lost because I'm gonna show you real quick. So I can, I can screw this all the way through, maybe. Not really. I'm not gonna force it so I don't damage the threads, but it looks like I can I can put it all the way through and undo it all the way. But I'll probably get some, some thread locker and just put it on some of the threads 
undo it, put it on some of the threads on both sides, just so I don't lose those pieces. Um, you shouldn't have any need to lose it. You shouldn't have to lose them or have any reason to take this, this uh, torsion bar apart. But as I was saying, so we'll get it pretty much on the same height of the car. So this is how it would look if you were gonna set it up, right? You have it hooked on to your suspension, adjusted as needed. You know, um, you start at this end, hook it on, work your way over, whether you're on your lift or you're laying on your back on the, onto the car, on your creeper, you know, hold it right here, get it in place, and then wrap this around your, your lower suspension, and then, you know, wrap it around and then hook it in place. It kind of sucks, I don't really have a, can't really demonstrate this on the car right now, but I think you get the point. So, boom. There we go. So I have it wrapped around and I literally just have it hooked on on that side right here. That's, that's literally all it is. But, so this would be how it's like, you're prepping it to, to get it all like, working so depends on the load that you're having here obviously by hand it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to twist it by hand all the way even though it has a uh, the width of this kind of fits in the palm of your hand the entire width of this lever fits in the palm of your hand so obviously as the weight of the suspension comes down um, you're not going to be able to twist it by by hand all the way and this is where some kind of uh a driver or something comes in let me see if i can hang it off the table here and still be in frame somewhat but you'll be able to like just slide this in here keep, just keep working it around and keep working it under load from the suspension um, Keep working it, working it, working it. So you keep doing that. And it gets to a point where where the these two ends, because this is just a, a maiden surface for these two ends right here. It just connects it to its head. If you look in there, let's see if I can get this. If you look in there, you can see all the way through, but as you rotate it, yeah. Nope, wrong way. As you rotate it, you can see it's starting to meet. These two ends are starting to meet. So it's gonna get to a point where if you have if you have one of these items, it's not gonna give you a full full rotation if you have something in there. Um, because they're just gonna see it's it's literally it's pretty much stuck very minute as far as uh how much play that's gonna take away from you but right now it's it's pretty much stuck so you just gotta un undo it but if you can do it by hand all the way or the rest of the way you'll be able to get you'll be able to allow these two pieces to to meet in the center because as you're rotating them when it's like fully extended not extended retracted and then you're extending the arm to lower the suspension. You're just, these two screws, you're just like screwing them closer and closer. And that's what I was saying, as you get closer, that uh, nut driver, screwdriver, obviously you need to have the gap for them to close. But uh, nonetheless, this is a, as far as quality, I mean, the quality is there. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard about the laser tool brand, but they're a, a company in the UK. I just came across them and I mean, this is the first, I think this is the first laser tool item that I have. I have several more, more coming that I found, you know, that I purchased. Um, got a nice little instruction sticker right here. Um, made in eu europe european union i don't know patented 
um, has a max. Let's see, has a max of uh, twenty two hundred. I'm sorry, kilograms on the the force right there, and then you can looks like you can use a, a hammer to whack it or something right there. Um, and screwdriver, twenty newton, twenty newton meters. But yeah, laser and blue is their color. Um, it's pretty interesting. Like you see there, I think they're, if you want to check out their products, the website or the YouTube channel that I've seen these on, they're called Tool Connection, Tool Connections. Um, they're always doing short videos of like products they're trying to, you know, showcase. Um, I saw this and I immediately knew that this was a must have, especially when you're, you're working on a car by yourself, suspension work on it by yourself. Um, can you do without it? Yes, you can. Can you use the other tool? Yes, you can. The other tool is best suited for a one-man operation because it's pretty much just a pry, prying bar. And I noticed they, they knew, I know they made this little S-shape uh, suspension, like leverage tool that you can just hook on the frame and then use your pry bar. Um, so I would say that's like, that's like uh, the, what do you, what do, how do I want to put it? The crawl, creep, run. So that, that little S thing is like the crawl. And then the full lever thing is like the creep. And this is the run because it does everything that the previous two does, but it also holds the suspension once it's like um, where you want it. And it, you know, you remove that, uh, this thing is like slipping me right now. Um, lower suspension um, portion there, bushing. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to ramble on about this thing. Like, the paint job is solid. I mean, like I said, blue is their color. Not many tools. There's not many tools that you find with this, if any. Actually, I don't think I have any tool with this, like, bright blue color. Um, this is 27 minutes in, rambling about this thing, but it's, it's quality. I mean, this is my first time ever handling one of these. And I would have no problem getting it to um, get it to work. It would be a different thing seeing it in operation, but as far as quality, a little paint build up right here, but it's nothing. It's just chunky coming off. Yeah, the quality is there. The quality of the pieces, like I said, the only the 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 part that is the least has the least quality, and it's you know, it's, it's neither here or there. It's that little bungee that runs the length of here. But it's not even a knock on the tool, not a knock on the company. It's still an awesome, it's an awesome product. Um, I'm pretty sure you can watch all the YouTube videos of it in operation. Whenever I get to my suspension work, I will definitely be uh, employing this and I might just do a video then. The storage of this should be pretty easy. You can, uh, I mean, you could you could hook it on the wall using this, you know, just hook it on the wall using this. You know, that that floats your boat. You can probably just hook it in here. Just hook it in here, you know, or you can just you can just hook it via this end. So it just depends on where you're gonna where you're gonna store it. But anyway. I'll stop rambling on about this thing, but uh, last look, that's the laser tools, hands-free suspension arm lever, part number 6936. Uh, this number at the bottom is probably irrelevant. It's probably just part of the UPC. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Check it out. Anyway, like and don't hit the thing.